Uh, Coach, we're going to get into our coach's question here, and tonight part of our show is going to be to ask Coach Reed. The high school coaches have an opportunity to get their question to Coach Reed, and tonight we hear from Parkland High School head basketball coach Andy Stevens. What are the strengths and weakness of your team thus far this season, and how do the younger players seem to be developing? Well, I would say that we have, with, through some of those clips that you saw of Tim Kempton, the ability to score on the inside, and that really helps us. We've been very dynamic when we've also extended that, de- that offensive range to the three-point line. Austin Price at times has been sensational. Brandon Alston has been sensational. We've had some uh, good development as far as balance is concerned between the interior and the perimeter. I'd say our weaknesses thus far have been turnovers with a young team and moving the basketball as quickly as we've had. We are being a little bit loose with some of our decisions, and we have to tighten that up. I expect that to improve with experience, that our decision-making will improve. And rebounding, interestingly enough, has been a problem at times and then a strength at other times. And a little bit depends on that uh, inconsistency factor. Tim Kempton has given us a huge push getting those double-doubles to really kind of bring us along. And as far as our youth, you know, it's, it's really interesting because you see the growth and development of some of our players where in our last game we only had seven turnovers. So we're taking care of the basketball much better. Rebounding at times has been a weakness, and we talk about Tim Kempton getting these double-doubles. So I think one of the biggest factors that we have is just our players who are younger playing at a consistent rate. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you to Andy Stevens, you, Andy. head coach at Parkland High School, two-time defending District 11 champions. Speaking of youth, he's going to have a young team as well, only two seniors, but they're going to be a tough squad to beat as well. So good luck to Andy Stevens and those Trojans.